Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75037, The Battle on Salukami. This isn't the full set, this is just part of it, because the set is a bunch of different pieces. I don't even know how to pronounce it, Salukami, Salukimi. But anyway, it's a battle on a space planet, and this set came out in the year 2014, retailed for $15, and came with 178 pieces. So we'll see if it's worth it. I haven't even shown you the whole set yet, so I don't even know how you'd know if it was worth it. But anyway, let's get into the video. All right, so taking a first look at the set, we can kind of see what's included. So starting off over here, we have this nice like blue battle droid. I think they're called staffs. I'm not really sure, but it's like a battle droid vehicle. Then over here, we have like this bunker or like area where the battle droids are like hanging out. And then we have this nice speeder and then there's a trooper. So I don't know, it's a kind of small set, but it looks like there's a lot in it. All right, so now time to talk about play features. So. I think the whole set is basically a play feature. I think it's like, it's supposed to be like those action battle sets, these like newer battle sets where you can kind of like use one side to like shoot at the other side. All right, so I'll try to target in on one of them and show you how it works. So I think you just kind of like aim it up. Oh, I missed. It's kind of hard to aim it perfectly so it hits them. I'll try it again. Just kind of target him. And there, and then he kind of falls down when you hit him because they're on these around these plate pieces that are really easy to be knocked over. So it's just with like minimum force, they just fall over. And I think it works for all of them. I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't work very well with this guy though, because it's higher up. I guess we'll test that one as well. So we line them up. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything. So yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work the best, but it's, it's a nice concept that kind of got better with age. And you can also knock down the staff thing. I, I bet that one probably works the best, but it's probably really hard to hit. So it's, it's a nice play feature. I just, it's, it needs some fine tuning and they've definitely done that with the newer pieces that they've added. But other than that, play features wise, you can like put the minifigure on the speeder bike and then you can put a battle droid on the staff thing. He kind of just hangs on. He doesn't really have any leg support, but I guess he's a droid. So I guess he doesn't need any. And then over here, you can just kind of put the droids on this thing. I mean, I guess you could just make like a battle display, but yeah, those are basically all the play features in the set. All right, moving on to design. So I'll start off with the speeder bike. And I think it looks pretty good. I really like that color combination. It's like that dark red and the white. It looks pretty good. There are some stickers and stuff, but we'll get to that later. I think it looks really good. It works pretty well. It has this piece on the bottom, so it slides. And I really like it. It's just maybe my only problem would be these pieces tend to come off a lot. Like, they, I don't know, they... They kind of get loose sometimes and they come off. But other than that, I think it looks really cool. And it's pretty easy to put your minifigure on it. It's a four stud connection though, so it's kind of like more difficult to pull them off. But anyway, the speeder design looks pretty good. Now moving on to something that I really don't like the design of. And that's this bunker piece, which is just so awkward. Like I don't really, I can't tell what it's supposed to be. It's just like some plants. And it's just... I don't know. I don't like these pieces because they fall off all the time and it's just really flimsy and uh, I really, like you see, it just fell off right there. Like, I don't like it at all. And it just, there's some weird building connections like this piece is like connected like this. I don't know. It's weird. It's a really weird thing. I mean, I understand that they needed to make something where like the bullets could like hit them, but it's a weird design and I really don't like it very much. But finally, moving on to the battle droid staff thing. I think this thing looks amazing from the front. I really like it. The only problem I have with it is I wish it had leg support for the battle droid because they're kind of just hanging on by that. And like the back isn't very interesting to look at. But other than that, I think they did a really good job with this. All right, taking a look at the minifigures in the set. The set comes with five, two battle droids, two super battle droids, and the bark trooper. So starting off with the normal battle droids, they are actually different. I mean, they are just the normal battle droid, but... One of them actually has two of these like sideways arm pieces because he has to like hold on to the staff thing. And the other one comes with the blaster. So they're slightly different, but basically they're both just normal battle droids. Nothing special about them, except one comes with a different arm. The super battle droids in the set are also exactly the same. They are like the normal mold that Lego uses and they are really flimsy around the legs. Like I've had this piece break before because the connection isn't very good. They're not very pretty from the back, but... I still think they're pretty good and they work well in this set. Moving on to the final minifigure in the set and definitely the best one by like a lot is the Bark Trooper. I think that's his name and he looks really good. He has a nice like double colored arm like one is like this and I think that looks super cool. It's a nice maroon red and he has some nice torso printing and leg printing. It's really detailed like there's a strap across his chest. 
And then on the back, he also has some really nice printing. It's pretty detailed. His helmet's pretty detailed as well. And then underneath that, it's just the normal angry face. But I feel like everything else about this trooper just looks amazing. So really good trooper. All right, now time to talk about stickers and prints. So we'll start with the speeder. So I think there are only stickers in the set, if I am, if I'm recalling that correctly. So yeah, anyway, there's lots of stickers on the speeder. One is right here. I was younger when I put these stickers on, so they're not very well centered, but they're pretty good. There's a nice control panel sticker here, and probably my favorite sticker in the whole set is like this battle droid tally, which like shows how many battle droids he's like destroyed. I think that's super cool. It's on the other side as well. So that's, that's a really nice sticker. I'm really glad that's in the set. And then on this abomination there's this sticker right here which shows some nice like blast damage i'm not really sure what this is supposed to be i think just like the front of a bunker i'm not really sure but it's a nice sticker it adds some detail i think that's the only sticker on this piece and then finally the battle droid staff or whatever it has a sticker right here which blends in really nicely like it doesn't look discolored at all and i think that's a really good sticker placement by lego so no prints in the set but i feel like the stickers are really good all right, now time to talk about loose parts. So I kind of already talked about that, but we'll go over it again because it's absolutely terrible. These pieces fall off all the time. It's so annoying. Like I wish Lego would not use these grass pieces. They're just terrible. They are so loose. They're only connected by one stud and just like you knock them slightly and oh, it's gone. And then you have to, I'm like a perfectionist. So I always look back at the instruction manual to find out just where they go. And it's so annoying. I absolutely hate that. So yeah, lots of loose parts on this thing, thing right here. And even these side pieces are really loose as well. I mean, they don't usually snap off, but not the securest collect connection. So yeah, there's lots of loose parts on this thing. And then on the speeder, the speeder is much better. The only loose parts being like these on the side, but they don't come off very often. And definitely these, these are pretty loose. But other than that, I think there's not that many loose parts in the set. I think the staff doesn't have any, like this, this comes off sometimes this separates, but you can easily fix that. So I feel like overall, just if you look at every category in the set, this thing is just absolutely the worst and brings it down so much. So yeah, if you were to buy the set, don't buy this and you can buy everything else. All right, now time to talk price per piece. So when this set came out in the year 2014, it retailed for, I had to fact check this multiple times. I can't believe what I'm about to say. $14.99, $15 for something that wasn't even a battle pack and came with more minifigures and more pieces. I just find that crazy. Like what's happening to Lego? I mean, even with inflation, that's just $20, which is crazy. I feel like this would be like a $30 set today. So yeah, overall, the price per piece, I guess it's 178 pieces. So that'd be around like, I don't know, if it was $20, that'd be less than, yeah, that'd be like 12 cents or 11 cents. But I still feel like that's a crazy deal for at the time it was $15. That's above, that's better than average. So I don't know. I feel like the price per piece is not a big deal in this set because it just feels like you're getting lots of value with all the stuff that's included. Although I guess I have to say, one of the things included is absolute garbage, but the rest of it is really good. Like the Bark Trooper is really awesome. So I feel like if this was $15.99 today, it would sell out so fast, but it's $20. So I feel like the price per piece is pretty good and you're definitely getting a lot of value except for this thing. All right, so overall, I think I'm gonna have to give the set a seven out of 10, just because there are some, there's one great minifigure in the set. The rest are just kind of common. And there is one good build or two being the speeder and the staff, which I both think are really good builds and they have nice sticker usage. But this thing in the back just drags it down so much because it's like a big chunk of the set and it's not executed very well. So I feel like it deserves a seven out of 10 then because at least three quarters of the set are pretty good. It's just this thing in the back that we do not speak of. So seven out of 10. So there you have it guys. That's my review of set number 75037, the battle on Salukami, Salukumi. I don't know how to pronounce it, the battle on some random space planet. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.